Hey YouTube, I hope everyone's having a great day. I'm back to do or redo my October favorites. First, what I'm gonna show you is my Caudalie, and this is the uh, the grape water. So this is amazing, I love it. I got it at Sephora, it's about $18. And this brand is something that's slowly becoming a brand that I really, really love. I never really dabbled into it before. My friend Carol that works at Sephora had introduced me to a couple things, and since then I have tried their eye cream, a sample of the eye cream. I've tried this. I've tried the Beauty Elixir, what else? The um, the Divine Oil, and yeah, I've just been kind of testing stuff here and there when I get to Sephora, and I loved this. I originally tried the, uh, the Beauty Elixir, so I tried that when I was in one day, and I found that there was too much oil, and it oil broke down my makeup on my skin, causing my makeup to kind of shift and just not have any longevity throughout the rest of the, rest of the night after I sprayed it on. The next time I was in, um, I tried this because I saw the grape water, I've never heard anyone talk about it, but it's more or less just grape extract in water and it kept my makeup looking so nice for the rest of the rest of the night. And I, I think I said this in my last video, I looked in the mirror and I'm like, what is different about my face? Like what's glowing? What has kept my makeup looking this fresh? And I realized that this was the only thing I did different. So I love this for a setting spray, number one, and then also to mist on my face before I do foundation in the morning as sort of a prep, a uh, moisture prep to have just better blendability with my foundation. So this is the Caudalie Grape Water. Um, the next thing face related is my Obagi Cleansederm Pore Therapy. This is the second step in the Cleansederm line by Obagi. It is a acne specific line and I have used this for over two years now. I absolutely love this line. I do use all three products. I use them sometimes in conjunction with each other during a night, or I'll use maybe the cleanser one night and not this or step three. But if I was picking one thing, I would pick this, and this is the pore therapy. So it's a salicylic acid astringent. And it's astringent toner, whatever you wanna call it, uh, they call it you know, pore therapy. But it unclogs pores, um, it helps keep your breakouts at bay, it just is, it's really amazing. I make sure that whether I wash my face with my step one or my black soap or my fresh soy cleanser, I make sure I always take a cotton pad and run this over my skin before bed. Even if I don't have time to do any other treatment before the end of the night or before I go to bed, if I don't have time to do a spot treatment or benzoyl peroxide, if this is the last thing I do before I go to bed, I make sure this goes all over my face. And it leaves my face feeling really soft and I wake up usually with a nice feeling to my skin and it doesn't it doesn't make me feel tight, but I'm used to it. So I, I can't remember two years ago, the first time I used it, what it kind of made me feel like initially, but it's worked wonders for my skin. Okay, the next thing is a brush and this is a Sonia Kashuk dome brush. So I don't know what she calls this. It might be like a blender or a dome. Very cheap, very inexpensive. At Target, I wanna say no more than $6, and I use this all the time. I've used it the whole month of October and into this date, uh, what are we, at the 17th of November? And I've been so lazy that I've used this for all of my shadows. So even this look today where I have a couple different shadows, I use this for everything, cause like I said, I'm lazy, but I love that brush. Okay, hair. Uh, this Amika oil therapy is something that I have loved. I've loved it for almost a year now. It was sent to me by a company a while ago, um, almost a year now. So it was December of last year. It's an oil treatment. You can use it as a treatment where you let it saturate your hair and sleep in it or penetrate, you know, for a couple hours. Or how I use it and how I have used it the whole year. It's only down here, actually. You can see where that is. Um, but how I use this is I put it on the ends of my hair and I massage it into them. And I do this every single time I wash my hair and I've done it forever, you know, since I've had it and that's all the farther that, that I've gone with it. So really a lot of the time I just kind of swipe what's on top and if I need it kind of for these pieces just to kind of smooth them out, I'll do that just at the beginning or at the, um, the beginning. I'll do that at the front of my hair or I'll just kind of go like this and get a little bit out and massage it into my hands and then pull it through the ends kind of from here down. And it's worked wonderfully. I love it so much. The smell is just phenomenal. So the smell is my favorite, but it just is a really rich hydrating oil. And I use that, I use that with my um, Agadir spray oil and I also use it with the Moroccan oil. That's a constant and that's been in my hair care routine for, like I said, at least 11 months now. 
Um, all right, next I'll do face and I called this in my last video, the trifecta of like the perfect skin for me at least. And here are the three products, but I'm going to start with the first thing. So this is how I get the base to my face uh, lately and all through October I've done this into November and I love it. So this is the first thing and it's just a sample, teeny tiny sample of... Why can't I think of it right now? Estee Lauder Maximum Cover. And I love this so much. I would have never looked into this really if it wasn't for my friend Holly, which um, her channel is Holly YMBB. And she adores this. This is one of her Holy Grail products. And she did a wonderful video one time that was all about how to create a flawless face, even when you have problematic skin. And I'm going to try to remember to link that below. Um, so check into that because she creates the best because she creates the absolute best base in that video. But what she uses this for is to spa conceal first. So she'll take this and she'll put it on any areas where there's problems. And for me, I kind of use it in here from breaking out or along my jawline, wherever it is that I have problems or discoloration or scarring. And she, I use my fingers to buff this in or to rub it into my skin. She uses a buffing brush. Um, I haven't found one that I really liked for that. So I would like to try that. I think Real Techniques has one that might be great. But I just use my fingers and this is like a magic eraser for any imperfection. Honestly, I love it so much. I will not be without this. As soon as this sample is done, I'm going to go buy the full product. I think it's around 30, 30 something maybe. It's really reasonable. But if you ever had problems with the double wear, don't be afraid of trying this. Double wear breaks me out in cystic acne and I love it. I wear it for special occasions. But don't be afraid of this because my skin just took to it really great. So... Um, maximum cover, I have it in dark. This is the darkest color. That's the only thing. If you're darker skin, you're not going to find a color match because I am the darkest color and you guys know I'm not that, that dark. I just am, you know, medium to tan. So the next thing that I do after I spot conceal with that, I do my full face with a uh, Smashbox Studio Skin 15 hour wear. So here we go. I love it. Lasts all day from morning till night. My skin looks pretty much the same, especially if I use a setting spray like my Caudalie or um, if I, you know, want more heavy of a, a set, then I'll use the Urban Decay All Nighter, but I love this foundation. It's so, so good. So uh, I would highly suggest you trying a sample of this. And I would say actually that that is um, medium to full coverage. It's buildable. So yeah, and it's good for oily skin. But it's called a moisturizing foundation, so I think that maybe dry skin might be able to use it too. I would say just try a sample and see if you like it. Okay, the next thing is my Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. And this is it. I have it in the color SC5. I love this for spot concealing. This is so good. I will use this as the last step. So say I do my Estee Lauder and then I do my Smashbox. And then after when everything's done, you know, I will look and I'll see, do I have an active breakout? Do I have something that's being stubborn? And I'll take this. It's a very thick, uh, heavier kind of dry consistency. And I'll just warm it with my finger and dab it on to wherever I'm having problems. And it's the final step in just a flawless, flawless face. So I love this stuff. Um, the next thing, actually let's do under my eyes. So for under my eyes, what I've been loving for quite a while now is the Armani Master Corrector. So here it is, and I have it in the color one. Um, very pricey, but you know, not, not the most expensive thing, but not the cheapest. I love this though. I have so much left. I've been using it for months and months and months and months. And I just have, I, I honestly, I take it off of it. See how much is on the brush? I take it off there and I just use like, you know, like I'll use that much and do my, my circles. And I don't really have that many dark circles or that bad of dark circles. So I don't need a whole lot. But if you do have more prominent dark circles, then I would say that that will take care of brightening them up. And then over top of that for my concealer, I love Hourglass in Warm. And this one is gone. As you can see, I'm digging in there, but I have a backup ready to go. So this is moisturizing. It's blendable. It doesn't crease on me. It's just, it's amazing. I love this concealer. So that is the hourglass. And my face. So as for a highlight, what I use all of October is surprisingly a Wet n Wild color icon in Reserve Your Cabana. And this was a summer edition bronzer. That is not going to be a bronzer for anybody. It's so light, but it is, the texture is 
seriously like unparalleled i can't even tell you guys about this it is so amazing i want to try to see if you can see actually a swatch of it can you see any type of luminosity on my hand it's not a today i'm wearing you can kind of see i'm wearing whisper of guilt and it has more of um it has that high sheen high shine this has just a really beautiful subtle subtle sheen and it almost looks like a glaze of just light i can't even describe it i use this even on top of my other um even on top of my other highlighters so i'll use this kind of after i do maybe a stronger highlight and i really love it for right in between my eyebrows where i feel like i have the 11 lines and then right in the center of my forehead i like shine there as you can see it just kind of makes it diffuses fine lines that you might have i don't know if they have this all year because it is it was with the summer stuff and it is spf um but i definitely feel like i should check into getting a backup because this is something that i think is so versatile it would be awesome in a makeup kit if you're a makeup artist so check this out for $1.99 i think it's worth everybody checking out and trying and I think you're going to be really, really shocked by the actual texture of this. It's a beautiful, beautiful highlight. I feel like I want to show you guys more. Like, Okay, so next is eyeshadow. And one eyeshadow I use all through October is the Clarins Ombre Mineral in, um, what is it, in Auburn. And it's beautiful. It's a wet and dry shadow. And I only use it dry, but for blue eyes, it's amazing. I think it would work for any color eye, but it is so pretty. It's right here. And it's not too pigmented that it's like bam, or it is going to take a lot of blending. But I think that it's, I don't know. I think part of its charm is that it has that kind of little bit of sheerness to it where it's just an effortless look. You, you can do this all over the lid and it has dimension where it is going to look like you tried harder than you did on your eye and it's definitely buildable so you can make it darker but what I love most about this shadow and I have another one also but I found that I use this most in October um what I what I love most is the texture and the wash that it gives on the eyelid so these are great and I definitely would like to invest in some more of those along with that my crease kind of transition color forever 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 has been mac texture and i feel like i need to just point that out of hit pan on it and i just want to give this um some credit because i use it every day no matter if i'm doing a dark brown smoky eye or a terracotta eye or a sort of red type eye like there's no day it goes by i don't think that i don't use this texture at least a little bit to make the transition from lid to crease to brow bone seamless and I love it so oh so MAC texture is definitely HG all right lip liner now I told you the one that I love also with this one is MIA right now so I cannot I actually think I see it right there okay so while I was sitting here I found the other lip liner and the two lip liners I've been loving are Dior Earth and so I showed this in my fall video and then Laura Mercier Potpourri and these are amazing lip liners They will go with any skin tone. I'm almost positive that anyone can wear these Terracotta pulls, pulls more of a brown and I talked about this in my fall favorites and Potpourri pulls more of like a pink, but these are wonderful So I love these two lip liners and along with these my favorite lip products Throughout the month of October and I'm actually wearing them both today are lip butters so I love lip butters and I didn't know I loved them and I probably wouldn't have even discovered that I love them if it wasn't for Jen and I think Jen's um, name is Jen5716 but I'm gonna link her below I talk about Jen all the time um, but I will link her but Jen was really into buying these lip butters and getting some fall colors and she inspired me to to check them out and so the first one I got on her recommendation was pink truffle I always forget the name of this I want to call it pink sugar but um, this is pink truffle and that's the color and I'm wearing that right now and then the other one that I got that I have loved so much the sun you can tell the sun just totally went down almost okay the other one that I've loved is this candy apple 
And so I'm wearing them both today. I have pink truffle on. I actually have Dior Earth on. And then I have pink truffle on. And then I have candy apple. And what I love to do with candy apple is I'll show you a little trick. So I'll do the pink truffle. Kind of all over my lips. And I think that these last a really long time on me. I know that some people say they dry out their lips, but they last really nicely on me and they don't dry my lips out too much. So this is the candy apple. So what I'll do with this is I'll put it right in the center of my lips. And I mentioned in my last video, this was inspired by Rosie Huntington. And I just, I've been trying to search for a lip color that she wears for, I spent like days googling stuff but I hadn't been able to find anything perfect um there was a particular picture I liked of her where she had something like a kind of a, a reddish or berry cherry type stain in the center and the rest of the lips rest of the lips were matte more like a matte nude or pink mauve I don't know I'm gonna have to find the picture but what I do with this is I put it right in the middle so I'll go like this with it So that's what I do. I just do it kind of right in the middle on the top and on the bottom. But I'm going to get going because the computer is almost going to be out of battery power. So I hope everyone's having a really great day. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.